I want to talk about one other thing that you shared with the humbling disclaimer sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Walk us through this process, what it looks like, what it sounds like. Yeah, I love the humbling disclaimer sandwich. I made it up. This is like when I'm like my insecurities like a 10 out of 10 when I'm about <laughs> to ask this question. Any question. Okay, I'm just making the question up as we as we speak. So I might say let's let's say we're early on in the call and I say um so Bob, I I I'm not really sure kind of how to how to ask this how to ask this exactly, but just to provide you with some context um you know, I've been at my firm for a couple of years now, and um, usually people at this stage of the call, they usually kind of fall into one of two uh, camps or buckets, if you will. Usually they're at their stage where they say, you know what, Charles, this is the issue that we're looking to solve for, and that's why we had reached out to you. Or they're in a camp where they're like, honestly, we don't even know what you guys do, um, and that's not a problem we ever thought about. And so I thought it was worth kind of like, we don't know what we don't know, and that's the other camp where they're, that they're in before we start I guess which, if I may ask, like, which camp do you feel like you're in so that can help guide the conversation? Uh, just want to understand, you know, learn as much as I can about you. So that was like, I used all those four ingredients. It may have been slightly elongated, but that's okay. Yeah. Um, I used a humbling disclaimer. I shared context about me, about like my experience. I asked what I considered a direct question that I might be afraid to ask. And then I ended it with, just want to like understand as much as I can, possibly can about you. And you can even add like, even if this is not a fit, it's just, this, it's one. this is how you're like layering all these different ingredients, right? It's like a little, oh, yeah. I'm using these ingredients all the time. Now, somebody wants to ask me, Charles, is there such a thing as using this too much, like too many humbling disclaimers or too much? Asking question. And this is my answer. I'd rather you do it too much then too little because the worst case that's going to happen to you if you do it too much is your prospect says that's okay you don't have to do ask me that anymore perfect done right i'm going to be direct as i possibly want to be noted so i personally get nervous on calls i'm not you know i think it's normal to be nervous uh maybe not all your calls but definitely different types of, of conversations that may have with prospects but especially prospects that are hesitant then i have a, a very large wall of resistance if you will on the call this just breaks it down 